Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm delighted you decided to join me today. I'm Dr. T. I'm a board certified internal medicine, cardiology, physiology, and lifestyle medicine. Uh, today, we're going to review what we learned in the last video. We're going to look at the 10 signs we're eating too much salt. You're going to answer the big question, how bad is it? We'll answer that at the end of the video. We'll end up with a quiz time. So, in the last video, look at the importance of salt white gold throughout history as a currency, as a source of wealth, like Venice that gained its importance as uh, uh, the city that it is today because of the white gold. They had a monopoly in salt at that time. We distinguish between table salt and uh, sodium as well. So let's dive in. Top 10 signs and symptoms that you're eating too much salt. Number 10. You're feeling intense first all the time, you dry mouth. So if you eat too much salt, the body will try to compensate by sending a signal to your brain to let you know that you need to drink more. On the other hand, your kidneys will work harder to eliminate the sodium and bring the sodium level into a normal range. Uh, number nine, you are urinating too much. Uh, the sod will pull water out of your cells into the extracellular space that will be eliminated by the urine. If it happens at night, it can obviously interrupt your sleep. Uh, it's important to notice there are other causes of the excessive first and uh, excessive urination. One of them is diabetes. So if these symptoms persist, you need to talk to your doctor and make sure you test it that you don't miss diabetes. Number eight, you crave salty foods. Your food uh, tastes meh, not that great. So using too much salt, in fact, blunts the taste receptors, requiring more salt for your food to taste good. The good news is the taste receptors actually will not notice a 20 to 30 percent decrease in the uh, salt in your food. We could take advantage of that to uh, decrease the amount of salt in our diet. And number seven, uh, fatigue and headaches. Uh, an article in the British Medical Journal uh, recently showed that the salt actually triggers headaches independent, independent of the rise in uh, blood uh, pressure. Number six, excessive salt will stress your kidneys potential leading to uh, leak protein in the urine. In addition, excessive sodium also leads to much calcium uh, in the urine, uh, leading to kidney stones. Most of the kidney stones, as you know, are calcium uh, oxalate. We are halfway through. Have you learned something new so far? Stop to the end of the video to learn some more stuff. Number five, swelling and edema. You may feel bloated, you may notice puffiness below your eyes, your fingers are swelling, your ring is too tight, and your ankles uh, swell. These are all signs of a, you eat, it could be eating too much salt, increasing fluid in the tissue space. Number four, you may notice and explain weight gain even without much swelling. Uh, the scale will let you know. If you go out and have a salty meal, next morning the scale will tell you uh, that you had too much salt. Your weight will, will be up, you know, two or three pounds. That's why patients with congestive heart failure and other conditions, we tell them to weigh themselves uh, daily or very frequently. They call as if their weight goes up more than five pounds or more in a week, trying to avoid uh, further decompensation that could potentially lead to re-hospitalization. Number three, uh, brain fog. You can't uh, think straight. You're a little bit confused. This could be a sign that you're having uh, too much uh, salt. Number two, you're not sleeping well. You may have sleep interrupted because you feel too thirsty, because you need to urinate, or you may have in a shortness of breath, uh, especially if you have a history of congestive heart failure. Uh, that could be a, a cause why you're not sleeping well. And number one, high blood pressure. And here you have to be careful. Uh, some people are salt sensitive and even a single meal can increase their blood pressure. But other people are salt resistant and even if they eat uh, quite a bit of salt, um, it won't increase their blood pressure. Regrettably, we do not have a test to distinguish who is salt sensitive and who is salt, salt resistant. But in general, uh, salt sensitivity is high in hypertension, about 50%, 51%, obese, 
elderly and African Americans. And in normal tensives, uh, people with normal blood pressure, 26% uh, are still uh, salt-sensitive. Salt One size does not really uh, fit uh, all. Uh, in conclusions, we have to say salt is absolutely vital to our health. 70% uh, of our salt comes from processed and restaurant foods. 90% of Americans eat uh, too much salt. We went over the signs and symptoms that we uh, may be uh, getting too much salt. I will tell you the bathroom scale will let you know what you had for dinner the night before. If the weight is up, it's probably because you had too much uh, salt. And the big question is, how bad is it? In fact, it is uh, pretty bad because uh, too much salt is deleterious to your health. It's going to cause high blood pressure. Uh, it's going to contribute to more heart attacks and more strokes and even uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, it's uh, quiz time. Uh, which nutrients Americans do not eat enough? Uh, potassium, magnesium, fiber, vitamin D, sodium. is all the above except sodium. Which are signs you are eating uh, too much salt? Uh, you're very thirsty, you urinate a lot, uh, you feel brain fog. Uh, none of these, one, two, or one, two, and three. One, two, and three are in fact uh, correct. Uh, next video, which, uh, uh, which of these statements are, are true? Uh, Himalayan salt, cautious salt. The different types of salt, do they have the same sodium content or one are better than the others? Next question, consuming too much sodium will increase your risk for high blood pressure, uh, heart disease and stroke, all, uh, none of the above. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification uh, bell. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as uh, uh, possible. We'll publish uh, a video on the second and fourth Friday of each uh, uh, month. And uh, uh, remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's take control. See you uh, next video.